Good morning, new 1%. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video. And guys, I'm going to need you to punch the subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell right now so you never miss a Satoshi Boomin video. We got these videos almost every day. Up on the screen, we have our Patreon subscribers AJ, Brett Garlic House, Mac Harris, Sergio, Lassie Nielsen, American Home Remedies.com, The Fern Line, Jeffrey, Ethan, Maryland Crypto, Boost Wayne, Brady Adams, Farouz Dean, and we have another one to add to the squad today. Thank you so much, Joel Jimenez. Thank you. Because of you, I am one step closer to getting out of wage slavery this list just keeps growing and growing each and every month i'm so humbled uh, i really appreciate each and every one of you that decides to donate to the patreon uh the reason why i push the patreon so much is because patreon is just another layer of protection especially with crypto and you know a lot of times crypto has controversial topics uh you know at any moment youtube could just say you know what we're done with crypto channels and you know I would be asked out to be to be frank. So it's important that I have multiple streams that I can put my stuff on. Um, I am going to start putting stuff on library and uptrend and stuff like that. But uh, Patreon is extremely important just in case anything were to happen here. I could just move on my content to Patreon. And, you know, if you want to you know, donate, that'd be great. So thank you to everyone who decides to donate to my Patreon page. I really appreciate it. Let's get on with the news today, guys. We're going to talk a little bit about XRP, a little bit about Bitcoin, and then we're going to move straight on to the VJ news. Let's get on to it. I got my hot tea and honey locked and loaded. I forgot to say that. What is going on? It has been a bizarre world morning today. Uh, things have felt slightly off all day, but um, the markets are looking pretty decent, so that's all that matters. All right, guys, so uh, our third favorite CEO here, we have Brad Garlinghouse here. Uh, Ripple CEO walks back the threat to leave U.S. So a couple months ago, um, Ripple was going to, they were talking about leaving uh, the United States due to lack of uh Lack of regu regulatory clarity, you know what I mean? Like, uh, in America, we have such a bureaucratic arm that it shuts down rapid change, okay? Uh, things, if, if you want to get things changed, they take forever. They have to go down the bureaucratic arm. A lot of roadblocks, a lot of, well, you forgot to cross this, you forgot to put this signature on this form and this form isn't filled out correctly you were supposed to use red ink instead of black ink you have to refill out this 50 page form and then you got to send it on the mail you have to wait three weeks and then you have to blah 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 it's all garbage bureaucratic trash okay used by people in order to justify their positions all right in order to justify their overpaid government jobs so Ripple got tired of that garbage and said, you know what? We're going to move. We're going to take our billions of dollars and move to a different country. Uh, Ripple used, used to position itself as the regulatory, regulator-friendly crypto firm. Now the company is threatening to uh, leave U.S. over regulatory uncertainty. Lack of clarity from the SEC about XRP legal status looks to be the sticking point. The company is fighting several private investigator investor lawsuits over the securities question and reportedly eyeing an initial public offering. Now, these private investor lawsuits are just butthurt people that lost their money because they probably FOMO'd in at $3 and then it crashed. So we already know that XRP isn't a security. And if it is a security, who the hell cares? The SEC does not care about you as a citizen. The SEC only cares about keeping the control in the oligarch's hands. All right. That's the only thing they care about. If the SEC actually cared about the American people, then you would be able to discharge student loan debt off of bankruptcy. But they don't care about that. If they were, if the, if the SEC did care and the trade commissions and all these regulatory 
bodies actually cared about the American people than payday lenders, loan sharks who charge 30% interest and take advantage of poor people would not be existing, but they do and they thrive. All right. So the SEC, the CFTC, all that garbage, they are against you. And I don't understand why our XRP and Ripple, you know, uh, tries to suck up to these bankers. These bankers do not care about you. All right. These bankers only care about more control, more power, how they can corner the market and get their private jet for next year locked down, get their six week vacation to the to Cabo or wherever the hell rich people go. That's the only thing they care about. So the saber rattling stuff is, you know, I mean, I don't think it's wise. I just think Ripple should just do what Ripple does, you know, stop worrying about U.S. regulations and go after emerging markets, just like Cardano. Ripple might not move out after all six weeks after announcing he is looking at potentially relocating Ripple's headquarters because of the lack of regulatory clarity around XRP. Brad Garlinghouse is now taking a wait and see approach following the election of Joe Biden as U.S. president. Speaking to CNN's Julia Chatterley on Wednesday, he said the payments firm has not made a decision on the matter. Joe Biden is not your ally, good sir. He is going to do exactly what the corporations want him to do, and that is to further the interests of the corporate billionaires and the one percent by, you know, making the dollar stronger. We haven't put a strict timeline on when we will make a decision, uh, he said. I think I'm waiting to see what dynamics change associated with the Biden administration beginning their term in office. And I am optimistic that they will actually improve things where things sit for the XRP community broadly. I do not know why you think that. I mean, Joe Biden is literally going to fill his cabinet with. JP Morgan Chase executives, Wells Fargo, uh, billionaires, executives, like, come on, guys, they are, you know, Joe Biden and Donald Trump, if you think they're playing for different teams, well, you've been brainwashed, good sir, I had a, I had a, um, a subscriber saying that he's unsubscribing from me because uh, he thinks that American imperialism is correct. And, uh, okay, I mean, we can agree to disagree, but I will not ever, ever, ever back down from saying that Republicans and Democrats are one in the same, bro. And if you think they're different, you've been brainwashed, you've been propagandized. They, they literally do the same policy, they just dress it up in different ways. Republicans, they, you already know they love corporations, and they're going to do everything they can in order to placate and, you know, bow down to the corporate arm. Democrats, on the other hand, they will say that they're for the people, but then do the exact same thing, suck up to, suck up to the corporate donors. It's all about corporate donors. Corporations run this country, not the president, not the Senate. It's the corporations, Facebook, Amazon, Google, BlackRock, things like that. So I will never apologize for saying that because it's true. And, you know, if you want to disagree with me, go ahead and comment down below. You don't have to be a little pussy and say, oh, well, you don't agree with my politics, so I'm going to unsubscribe. No, make your case down below. Tell me why I'm wrong and give me some facts. You know, I am not a partisan I don't know how I got on this topic, <laughs> but it's okay. It's my show, and if you want to listen to it, great. If you don't, go ahead and turn it off right now. But um, I am not a partisan. I am not a Republican. I am not a Democrat. I am an independent, all right? And anyone who, you know, is on towing this partisan line garbage, dude, you are you drinking up the full Kool-Aid, bro. The Republicans nor the Democrats care about you at all. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, uh, the guy was like, oh, you're in crypto and crypto is naturally capitalist. Well, duh. But 
Is it though? I mean, does is it crypto for fighting imperialism? Isn't crypto for is it was it Bitcoin made for people in Africa so that you know if you were in a country that has sanctions, you could still be able to feed yourself, you could still be able to have an economic identity free from imperialism? Get out of here, bro. Like, no, all right. No country is perfect. I'm not going to be boot licking here. That's not what I do, bruh. All right. So I fight imperialism in all forms. I fight American imperialism. I fight, you know, Chinese imperialism. All types of imperialism have got to go. <sighs> I probably lost like 30 subscribers on that rant, but that's okay. Uh, change of tone for for years payment startup has closely associated the xrp cryptocurrency held up itself as an example of good behavior need to stop working with these regulators man these regulators do not care about you at all in 2016 ripple was the second company in the blockchain industry to obtain the infants infamously stringent bit license garbage complete crap whoever signed that in the law is just garbage the fo the firm ceo in those days chris larson issued the then fashionable term disruptor and stressed that unlike bitcoin's early adopters ripple aim to assist not usurp regulated institutions to do so it invested in multiple lobbying efforts in in washington hmm Lately, the San Francisco-based company's leaders have been notably less diplomatic. Good. Current CEO Garlinghouse and now Larson, an executive chairman, have publicly threatened to move Ripple's headquarters outside of the U.S., citing a lack of regulatory clarity, particularly from the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC. The company recently announced that it had opened a regional office in Dubai, and I think that they should move to Dubai because... You know, it's just the U.S. is behind the times, guys. Like, if you're mad at me for saying that, then please unsubscribe, bro. I, I don't care if you're mad at me for saying that. Unsubscribe right now and don't watch my videos anymore. We are behind the times. China is going to kick our rear ends if we do not get on this crypto in the digital revolution. China has a fully functional uh, uh, contactless payment system. We don't. Okay. Apple Pay and Samsung Pay are trash. They don't work half the damn time. All right? They're going to spend a trillion dollars on blockchain, cloud computing, and infrastructure. Are we going to spend a trillion dollars on our infrastructure? No, we're still trying to figure out how we could get checks to people who can't pay their bills right now because of partisan bullcrap. This is making me very angry and very hyped up. Because people are just so easy to take sides. And, and, you know, the government has divided us so much now with propaganda and, you know, my side is better than your side. We are America, bro. We should be together. You know, we could argue about policy, but, you know, we're at a point now where people don't even talk to other people because they're Republican. People don't even talk to other people because they're Democrat. And if you don't even want to be a part of it, they say, oh, well, you have to pick a side. Because of all this, things come to a slow crawl. That's why I talked about a little bit about uh, um, the bureaucratic arm. Don't worry, guys. I will put a timestamp <laughs> if you want to skip the rant because I know people are going to be butthurt. That I ranted for 15 minutes about the government. Well, too bad. I love you anyway. I'll still have this VCHA news for you each and every day. Um, so I think they should move. Uh, XRP is a good coin. They need to stop playing nice with these people. The, 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 the regulators don't care about you, man. The only thing the regulators care about is how they can get, keep their jobs for next year the chairman of the sec only cares about oh is my party gonna win so i can stay the chairman as the sec they're reactionary 
Ripple, I'm asking you to move, man. There are so many other places you could go. You could have regulatory clarity. You could actually build. Do what Cardano's doing. I spent a lot of time on that story. <laughs> Boy. And I know people are going to be salty as hell about it. But that's okay. I still love you. PayPal CEO says digital currencies are set to go mainstream. And I would agree with them. PayPal Holdings Inc. Chief Executive Officer Dan Shulman said the use of digital currencies is set to go mainstream as more merchants like a digital first approach to payments. The entire world is going to come into digital first. Shulman said that the Web Summit conference on Sunday, shops are moving to accept via payments via smartphones or QR codes. Even in-store customers are starting to use digital wallets, which are natural complements to digital currencies. And I would agree. PayPal announced in October that its customers can buy, sell, and hold crypto, including Bitcoin, Ether, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin from their digital wallets, as well as use virtual money to shop at the 26 million merchants on its network. Now, he says, uh, asked about who, see, who he sees as PayPal's biggest competitor. Shomin said he's keeping an eye on Ant Financial, China's Largest mobile payment company has tremendous success in the country with a comprehensive digital wallet that includes all elements of financial services and all elements of shopping. Guys, do we have a single app that you can get a Uber, do your groceries, pay for goods, uh, pay your bills? Do we have one single app for that? No, but China does. It's called WeChat. Guys, we're so far behind the time, and you bootlickers, you people who are, you know, just so just blind, you know, I don't, I really don't know what to tell you, bro. Go ahead and get mad at me, and 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 that's okay, you know. I, I just don't. I, I'm done with it. I'm so tired of the bureaucratic garbage and just the slow crawl at which we get things done. That, uh, I, you know, I don't care who I offend at this point. Get it done. You know, anyway, I'll put a timestamp to skip the rant. And you know what? A lot of people are going to get mad just because, you, you know, they're not listening to what I say. They're going to pick out two or three things that I said in this whole rant. And they're going to be like, oh, well, you said this and I'm unsubscribing. Guys, listen to the whole thing. All right, and then make up your own mind. Don't just go off what Fox News, MSNBC, ugh, and CNN tell you. Ugh, goodness gracious. Timestamps will be below. On to the VeChain news now, guys. Uh, yesterday we burned about 5 million Vito. Nothing to really write home about. And today we're a bit low at about 6.4, but that's okay. More importantly... The VeChain price has held up pretty decently. We are currently up 10% on the day. Looks like we're having a little bit of a correction here. Slowly inching our way up to that two cent mark. Funny, I don't see any trolls, man. Where where did all the trolls go? Huh? When we were down here, y'all had the most shit to say, bro. Y'all were coming at my neck hard. Talking about, oh, it's a scam coin. Oh, you're misleading your subscribers. It's never going to go back up. Y'all sound dumb as hell, boy. Dumb. Oh, my God, y'all sound retarded. But that's okay. I haven't heard anything from those those uh, trolls in a long while. So I, I assume that they're, you know, riding. I assume they traded all their money into Bitcoin and they're going to ride that until that doesn't move. Then they're going to come back after they've sold at the bottom and then, you know, come back and try to ride this wave or they're going to buy back again at two cents and then complain when we have another correction talking about oh, shut up. So we're back. We're up. We're up 10.5 percent on the day. Um, yeah, not really. Yeah. You know, it's just natural market cycles. Ain't nothing changed. Nothing changed. We're still stacking V-Chain and chilling. All right. We've got a couple stories by the wonderful Eisenreich. All right, guys, go ahead and follow him. Uh, after demonstrating the efficacy 
in the Mediterranean Hospital of Cyprus. Another top-of-the-line facility, Arieto Hospital, has joined the VeChain ecosystem and has integrated into the EHCERT app throughout the lab testing services. So we have yet another uh, hospital joining the boat. Okay. Amazing news. Eisenreich again posts uh, VeChain and Flabs Lab. Digitized on the VeChain Thor blockchain, inspired by I Lee, Flabs Lab plays homage to the latest international trends with a passion for creativity and celebrates all things designed. So it looks like uh, Flabs Lab here um, has joined forces with VeChain in order to track and trace some, it looks like some NFTs here. Oh, actually, no, they are actually, uh, yeah, yeah, NFTs digitized on the VeChain Thor blockchain. Uh, not only can you get an NFT, but it looks like you can get a mini figurine here as well. So that's awesome. Just another use case. And lastly, um, from Eisenreich here, go ahead and give him another follow. Um, VeChain and the Republic of Cyprus. So the Cyprus Deputy of Deputy Minister of Research, Innovation, and Digital Policy is promoting that upcoming webinar that we're talking about. That webinar again is on December fifteenth. Um, it is definitely an important webinar. There's going to be a lot of important people there. Cream is going to be there. Uh, I Dante, uh, Esert, just all all the major V Chain partners. Are going to be there. Grant Thornton is going to be there talking about talking in that webinar as well. So it's definitely an event you don't want to miss. All right. So this was an interesting little tidbit here yesterday. Uh, we covered this a little bit yesterday, but I wanted to go over this a bit more here. Customers confirm that VeChain is safe, is faster and easier to deploy than IBM Food Trust. All right, guys, every single uh, partner that we've onboarded to the VeChain Thor blockchain seems to love it. I mean, we've had raving reviews from Walmart of China, amongst others, about the ease and the access of this uh, of the VeChain Thor system. And again, guys, remember, we got Walmart are trying to set up with an entire blockchain traceability system in three weeks. Sam's Club in one week. Absolutely insane. VeChain America CEO recognizes that Google, IBM, and Amazon getting them bat bucks, boy. Uh, Google, IBM, and Amazon bring legitimacy into the blockchain industry. With their involvement in the sector, according to the customers of VeChain, the tool chain is faster and easier to deploy than IBM's Food Trust. Absolutely excellent. So, again, guys, go ahead and take a look. I posted uh, yesterday the Humans of the Blockchain Initiative. Go ahead and take a look at that, guys. Uh, it talks about Jason Rockwood and his life and his uh, involvement with uh, crypto. Definitely interesting. But he goes on again to say that he talked to his customers and their tool chain is actually faster and easier to use than IBM's food trust, guys. Like, first mover advantage is awesome, but the product has to work. And we actually have a working product. Amazing. All right, final news story of the day. I know this was a very ranty and long video. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but that's okay. I still love you. Safe Haven's Proof of Read Contest in Heredity Edition. Safe Haven's been doing the dash. Yesterday, we, we talked a little bit about their bounty program. and Not their bounty program. Their uh, staking program. Um, so you can stake for 90 days. There's a fixed staking rate depending on how much safe haven and node status you have but now they are doing another event called proof of read this event is dedicated to your knowledge and understanding of heredity the only digital the only decentralized digital inherit solution on the market today 
In this uh, competition, you will be asked a series of 10 questions on Inherity. Please review our Inherity docs to learn more about this incredible solution. Those who score a 90% or higher will split a pool of 100,000 safe haven. Absolutely awesome. To be eligible, you must be a member of the Safe Haven Telegram group. Follow them on Twitter. Complete questions on the proof of read exam. The event ends later this month on December 31st, and winners will be announced on the official Telegram channel in the following week. For all who wish to participate, thank you and good luck. Absolutely awesome. I'm going to always put you guys on game. Anyways, you can make a few extra shingles. All right, guys. Wonderful Patreon subscribers. Thank you again, Joel Jimenez. I really appreciate you, you taking that leap and uh, uh, donating to my Patreon. Thank you for Ruse Dean, Brady Adams, Boost Wayne, Marilyn Crypto, Ethan, Jeffrey, The Fern Line, AmericanHomeRemedies.com, Lassie Nielsen, Sergio, Mac Harris, Bread, Garlic House, and AJ. Wouldn't be doing this without you guys. Taking a look at the next at the Bitcoin block having here, guys, we have 1,251 days. The market is just kind of just doing its thing. Bitcoin uh, is up to about 19.3 right now. Looks like there's some tough resistance at 20K, but we figured that that was going to happen. Ethereum is actually doing amazing right now, up to six uh, $613. Absolutely crazy. The market looks pretty good. A lot of, lot of coins are up right now. Crypto.com is up. VeChain is up 10%. Things are definitely looking good cannot complain at all all right guys i have rambled ranted and raved for longer than i had anticipated guys thank you so much for listening to me don't let your memes be dreams and i will talk to you tomorrow